Hey everyone, this is Steven from Campus Inc. In for another episode of the NIL show. We have a very special episode today because we are featuring two rock stars that have been with us for the last eight weeks. Um, our interns, Carter Crane and Grace, Grace Reisinger. Grace, Carter, welcome to the show. Thank you very much yeah, for having thank us. thank you. Thank you. So give us your like 30 second how you ended up here. Tell us where you're from, you know, how you ended up here. Go for it, Carter. Um, 30 seconds. I am from uh, Minneapolis, Minnesota. I go to school in Lincoln, Nebraska. I started off with Campus Inc. because I was the merch chair for my fraternity my sophomore year of college. Uh, and now I will be a senior this fall. Um, but yeah, I got a remote internship for uh, kind of be a little bit closer with the student design program last summer and work on some athletic stuff. And now I'm here for my second summer in a row and couldn't be happier. Sweet. And you're a fashion major in yep. Nebraska? I am a, uh, I'm a merchandising major in the fashion design school. So. Yeah, yeah, get it right, Steven. My, merchandising sorry. major. Merchandising. Fashion design Not too school. far, but yeah. <laughs> Grace. Um, hi, I'm Grace. I um, am from Hensdale, Illinois, which is a suburb of Chicago. I go to school in Pennsylvania at Bucknell University. Um, I kind of wanted to pick up a hobby. I had a friend who was a student designer and she um, just raved about Campus Inc. <clears throat> I applied, not really knowing much about design at all. Um, and quickly learned how much I loved it. So I decided to pl apply for the internship last summer. I was on the recruiting and expansion team last summer, which was really cool. And then continued loving it and wanted to come back again and do something new. Um, and have just had an awesome time working with the NIL program. It's been amazing. It's definitely, uh, there's a reason we let our alum interns work on the NIL side of the business um, <laughs> because it is super new and, and you have been here for quite some time now. Uh, Adam, what, uh, I don't know, what do you want to bug Grace and Carter about? Their internship's ending in four days. I know, right? All right. This is this is beautiful. We got a carte blanche here, and, and I'll say off the bat, Stephen spoke really highly of both of you all year since I've I've actually heard both of your names even before I came on board at Campus Inc. And so expectations were super high. Um, you definitely both of you lived up to the reputation for sure. So um, we were really grateful to have you. I, I just want to know, like, you know, you you both had different experiences in terms before coming in, knowing you were going to be on the NIL side. What you know, what what were you expecting? So I was definitely really nervous um, just because I'm not, I didn't come into this having, I guess, a lot of knowledge of the sports world. So that was um, something that definitely was nerve wracking, but something I've learned just working for Campus Inc. Um, for as long as I have is challenging myself is the best way, I guess, to get the most out of whatever experience I'm doing, whether it's sales, whether it's marketing, whether it's um, design. And I've just grown so much in all of those aspects by pushing myself. So I, I guess, yeah, I was really nervous. And Brock, obviously, I've been working with Brock since I started as a student designer. And he um, just kept texting me like, you're going to love it. You're going to, I'm so excited for you to come back. Like, this is going to be so new for you. And um, I guess all the good things. So I was definitely really nervous, but just the team we have had, I obviously didn't know you, Sean, or Adam before um, coming to the internship this summer and just having you guys as a support system and um, working with Brock and him pushing me to be creative and, I guess, learn more about the sports world in general um, just has been really awesome and it has completely exceeded my expectations. I've learned so much um, and was I, I guess I learned quickly that it did the whole idea just didn't make me nervous anymore after the first day. <laughs> yeah. I mean, everybody's learning, right? <laughs> Tell us about a typical day. Like what, what are the different things? And we'll get to you Carter in a sec. What are the typical things that you were doing every day? Like, you know, every day is a little different in the NIL world. Grace, if, if anyone follows the NIL TikTok, Grace is the star of mastermind. Amazing. 
amazing job because if you tried to have me and Adam or Sean make a TikTok, it just would not work. So no Grace chance. is the star of our TikToks and they are hilarious. <laughs> Athletes DM and are like, you're the funny person on TikTok. Grace, yeah. beyond our TikTok though, what else have you been doing this summer? I feel like I've done just a wide range. Um, everything from marketing on the TikTok and on the Instagram to designing for athletes. I have, I think designed so far three of our athletes merch drops, one that is coming tomorrow, which is really exciting. Um, also designing for our core collections with, um, a bunch of schools that we are working on getting, um, locker rooms for, which has been really fun. Um, and also just helping Brock. Um, Brock is good at, I guess, just because he knows Carter and I so well, I feel like he was really good at giving us both tasks that just tailored to what we're good at and also helped challenge us. Like he had me working on a bunch of jerseys this summer, which I've never designed a jersey before in my life. And although it was very challenging, um, I ended up after a couple hours at work, I ended up designing, I think only like finishing three. And I was like, so proud of myself. I was so excited. And then I was like, Carter, how many have you done? And Carter was like, oh, I think I've done like 15. I was like, this is exactly <laughs> like, <laughs> but, um, merchandising made. Yeah. But I guess like a little bit of everything really. And you, you work really fast, Grace. So uh, along with all that stuff, it was two or three times a day. Adam, what's next? Can I work on what's next? That I can work on you just, you're knocking stuff out. Yeah. I love yeah. It. How about you, Carter? Yeah. Um, Day to day, um, I'd say most of it is assisting Brock with a lot of uh, general creative help, whether it means I'm putting together invoices with artwork or if he just needs a um, another set of eyes to look at a couple different designs he's working on. Um, I've been working on that and really like kind of similar to what Grace said, doing a lot of it. Um, I'd say the only thing that I haven't touched so far is marketing. Um and Grace has been killing it with that. So in any ways, I, I always tell her if I can help out at all, let me know. But you're the expert. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, a lot of design work. Haven't Last summer, I would say I was selling a lot more. Um, I had a lot more freedom to kind of and a lot more time on my hands to sell more. Um, but this summer, I would say, has been mainly filled up with just getting the foundation laid of all the creative design work and helping Brock with that. So Carter, you've been instrumental on our Jersey program. And Big today, time. like our samples from Virginia tech, San Diego state, I wonder if any other, other schools came in, um, your hands like help design those. What is it like to work on the replica NIL jerseys that are going to be sold across the country? It's so cool. Um, it like kind of started to sit in a little bit today, seeing the jerseys in person. I'm like, okay, yeah, these are, going all this like hard mm -hmm. design work on my computer is eventually going to turn into physical products that you can touch with your hands, which is just so cool. And I'm very happy to, um, and grateful for the position, but it's just so crazy and it's happening at such a fast, fast pace. You don't really know what, at what point do you step back and say, okay, well we're here. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's just so weird. It's kind of hard to describe. Carter, you, you started alluding to it where you were comparing last summer to this summer. And I'm curious to hear both of your perspectives um, as to how you've seen the company grow. You guys were part of it last summer and then you, you're still part of it from an arm's length distance and then a couple of months go by and then you're back totally in it again. Um, how did the internship change? What were the differences and, and how have you seen the company grow uh, over the last year? I can give a quick answer for that. Like the level of work is just different this summer. Everything's a lot quicker. Um, things are moving at a faster pace. You can really notice that people are a lot more passionate about their individual positions uh, in their respective department, which just makes you happy to see, you know, they're passionate about what they're putting out. Yeah. That's uh, just everything's moving faster and everything's bigger and it's a different monster, but it, it's a lot more fulfilling, you know, just to put together that work. Yeah, I agree with everything Carter just said. I guess it's been just really cool seeing at least the NIL program grow and how much it has done for Campus Inc. Um, like, for example, last summer, I um, worked with an athlete and actually made him merch before 
NIL was NIL. And I remember when I was talking to Barack about NIL, he was kind of updating me on what was going on. I was like, wait a second. I did, I like did an NIL order. And Brock was like, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what we're doing now. And it was just crazy. Just like hmm. thinking about how different things were back then. And it's also something that I've loved is just, I feel like everyone is learning, which is something that's really cool. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, I can say just even hearing Brock talk about working with an athlete, doing an order, and then he's always thinking like, okay, well, how do, how can we do that better? And like, let's learn mm-hmm. from that. And let's, I guess, just make the NIL program better, like every second of every day. And that's been something that's been really exciting. And just being able to contribute to that has been awesome. What's you talk a lot about continuing to learn both of you had said, you know, and we're all kind of in the same boat, new thing, NIL, um, you know, Grace, you mentioned you weren't much of a, a sports fan. You were learning a lot. What, what are some of your favorite things that you've learned about the NIL space? You know, just from your perspective, current college student who were like, oh, that's really cool or, oh, really surprising. Um, just about the space in general this year. Um, I guess one thing is how different it is designing for the NIL program versus what I started out at Campus Inc. doing, which was doing orders for organizations, sororities, fraternities on my campus. Um, I have learned that, I guess, doing everything on a more basic level is better. Like I remember one of the first times this summer, Brock had me designing some core products. I remember I was working really hard doing all these like kind of crazy designs. And Brock was like, no, no, no. Like that, that is like, not like think about the, the brand of the school. Think about like the actual athletes, what they want to wear. Think about it just like had me kind of think about it in a different way, which is so different from doing like a random order for a sorority or fraternity or organization. Um, that's one of my favorite things I've learned just because I feel like sports design is very different from what I usually do. And that's been just learning from Carter to him just like popping over my desk, looking at what I'm doing and like giving me comments and stuff has been really helpful too. Um, but yeah, that's definitely my favorite thing I've learned. How about you, Carter? I've learned a lot. Um, I, it makes me feel really good. I would say this is something I've just gotten so used to, but I'd like to say that I can answer a lot of questions about NIL, but for those like really, really tricky questions that people like to ask, I I say, I don't know, but thank God someone on our team does know the answers to these questions, whether it's Adam (laughs) or Sean or Steven. Um, yeah, there's just so much depth and so much legal, um, there's such a deep legal process tied to it that it's just so much crazier than I thought it would be. And without doing it in a big organization or with a big company, I just couldn't imagine it would feel like a, like a headless chicken running around. Like, so (laughs) yeah. I, I think what's cool though, Carter and Grace is you actually, you said this earlier, Grace, like you did this before Mm -hmm. with fraternities, sororities, you dealt with licensing before. In fact, it's actually somewhat easier to design for the schools because you don't have crazy frat house and sorority designs. It's actually really interesting for you guys to say we were like actually throttling back what we did in the frats and the sororities Mm -hmm. to adapt to NIL. Um, But I think it's worthwhile to say, you know, the next challenge is how do we, how do we, how do we find graces and carters across the country that can help us with athletes? Cause really like when you guys go back to school, you now have NIL in the back of your, your wallet and you're like, I know how to do that. And I know how to do fraternities and sororities. So like hit me up, Nebraska, hit me up, Buck. Now we'll take care of you. Mm-hmm. What do you think? Like what, what's your, if, if you were to look into a glass ball and look at Campus Inc. five years from now, how, how do you imagine it? Yeah. And in my mind, a dream scenario, like you were saying, get a couple of grace and I graces and eyes replicated at different schools. <laughs> but if you can, if you can get students to feel very comfortable with communicating with athletes in a professional level, but still feel ca- casual enough to speak to them as a peer, kind of close in age to them, it's really, really cool. And there's a lot of opportunity there. So I can see that happen at every campus. Yeah, I would say, I, I mean, I can't even imagine just because of how much the company has grown in just a year, like thinking about last summer, just how much smaller the office was and 
Um, now I guess like we have NIL, which is a whole new monster to handle, like Carter said earlier, but, um, I would just say, I think the company is going to just grow five times. I think that everyone has the motivation. Everyone is on the right track. Like I think at least just even watching our, the other interns and what they've done for campus Inc and like recruiting wise and getting more student designers, re filming training videos to help train student designers, like helping um, us just in general with marketing for NIL, just like everything. I feel like everyone has been so motivated and is ready to grow, which is really awesome. And is fun to watch. I would say I'm excited because I'm excited to see the student designer program and the NIL program, I guess, intertwine more. I think that we could do, I, and canvassing could do a lot in that way. Um, and I'm excited to see that. I don't know exactly what that'll look like. Maybe if it's student designers being trained on how to work with athletes. Um, but I just think that could be really cool. Well, and that's, that's, I love that you said that because Steven has talked about that quite a bit, right? Like this is, this is who we are in our DNA. Campus Inc. is, mm -hmm. is an organization that helps teach college students design and sales. It just so happens to be that some of the college students we work with are athletes. And so, mm -hmm. uh, watching that, those two kind of channels continue to converge instead of diverge is really exciting when you think about how it elevates the experience on both sides for, you know, traditional students and student athletes alike. Mm -hmm. I think what's really important to me is that, you know, the two of you have like a real raw experience over the summer. And that we don't lose that, right? Mm -hmm. So that this isn't the crappy corporate internship that our students, <laughs> like, full disclosure, Grace was helping me prospect investors that we were talking to, <laughs> you know? <laughs> uh, so, like, we, we want to make sure, I think the challenge that, that the five of us have is as we grow, how do we keep the same grit? How do we keep the same vulnerability? How do we keep learning nonstop? Because we never want to lose that. I think that's what makes us so special is we're all kind of on the ground floor together. Um, and that's, that's going to be tough down the road for sure. Yeah. I feel like that just the, what you just said, Steven, the vulnerability is so important. I ask Brock probably 200 questions a day. And <laughs> even though he sometimes gets a little irritated with me, I am just still <laughs> super like vulnerable and that has helped me grow so much. Um, just not being afraid to ask questions, not being afraid to challenge myself. And I think every single intern has that same experience and we've created an environment where, for example, like I know nothing about marketing. I, my major is sociology. I really like, am not, that's not what I'm trained in. And yet that is something I have really succeeded in doing and learned so much about this summer. So I just hope that that stays consistent, just being able to learn whatever, being vulnerable, being ready to challenge yourself. That's how every intern is, no matter what field, what they study in college, why they're here. It doesn't really matter. Everyone's just excited to learn whatever. And I think that is what makes the internship so special. And that's definitely why I wanted to do it again this summer is just because of, I, I guess, came into the internship last summer with an expectation of nothing. I had no idea what to expect. And I left with just an immense amount of knowledge about sales, marketing, recruiting, communication with customers, just so many skills that I think no matter what I am doing in the workforce or even just at school, it just helps me be a better, I guess, worker, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I, I know personally, I, I joined on with Campus Inc. in late March and then I it wasn't Shortly thereafter that I heard about the internship program over the, over the summer and that we actually had interns come and stay in Chicago, an entire team of interns. And I remember asking somebody, I was like, why the heck do we do that? How do we pay for that? <laughs> Whatever. And now that it's the end of the internship program, I just see how tremendously valuable it is and why Stephen does it and why it's so important to him. And it's not just the work. It's an entirely immersive internship mm -hmm. experience where you're experiencing the city of Chicago and you're going to Cubs games and you're going down to champagne and going to the warehouse. I don't know if you can, maybe Carter, you can just speak to how, uh, how that immersive experience, um, was for you. 
Yeah. Um, like I said earlier, I feel like I've just gotten so lucky with the past two summers to be able to have the opportunity, um, and also work with different groups of people. Like we have a almost a completely different group this summer, um, give or take a couple people versus last summer, but it's been really fun to see people get interested even in other spaces. So let's say we need an illustration done for NIL or something. We can go hit up one of our, like our skilled TMM designers, um, for them to just come over and help us out. And along the way that, that intern's very happy to help. Um, it's been naturally happening, but just having this junior year summer and sophomore year summer happen. And I'm almost forced to have like real world experiences with this internship, which a lot of people don't get to say they get to do. And it was such a new company. We were just walking to lunch not that long ago, but we didn't even know what would be going on this summer. We didn't even predict that NIL would be a thing this summer. Um, but outside of work, um, outside of work, it's I mean, just you, been, you, you caught a, wonderful. you caught a ball at the Cubs game yesterday, man. That was pretty cool. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Yeah. I, um, sometimes I like feel so busy that I notice I haven't even contacted one of my parents for like a week straight. And I'm like, I'm like I should shoot my mom a call. Um, <laughs> but yeah, seriously, like if you, you don't even have to be a creative to just really really love this experience um inside of work and outside of work it's just there's really no other way to say it it's just ex- amazing yeah well i love chicago so much i've loved living here i um am living with two other interns gabby and elena which has been so fun elena is um only going to be a sophomore at wisconsin so it's been really fun just like showing her the ropes, um, taking her around Chicago and just doing all the things. And then Gabby is closer to my age, um, which has also been so fun. I love the both of them. I feel like it worked out so well. Um, and we just have so much fun together from, I remember like a couple of weeks ago, I was going to buy groceries and I just came back with a bunch of cheese and crackers and wine. And I was like, can we, let's have a wine night. Let's eat some cheese. And like everyone, everyone's just always up for whatever. Um, and classic grocery, grocery run distractions, right? Yes, I'm gonna go, get, yeah. go get healthy vegetables, come back with wine and you're, cheese. You're adulting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're but adulting. it's been so fun. Just, I mean, doing all the things with them. We, have been able to explore a lot of different areas of the city, which has been fun. Um, We went to the lake last weekend, um, which is really nice. The lake is actually warm, which is crazy. I feel like I rarely (laughs) get to experience that, but that was really fun. Um, I don't know. I just feel like we, I've just been so lucky with the group of people um, that I'm working with. I feel like everyone is right, is just ready to get out of their comfort zone, try new things in the city. Um, and yeah, so that's been really, really fun. I've just loved being able to explore the city in like a different way than last summer. And I, and I think what's important to us, like, as we talk about like younger years, you know, your summers are the years you remember, like summers Mm -hmm. are fun. They're supposed to be fun. And so to us, I hope that we can hold on to it because the fact that you all live together is hilarious and fun. The fact that we can go to the lake and go to the warehouse and go to Cubs games and do it. Like, I think that's, you know, yeah, we're going to get a lot of work done and heads down, we're going to design a bunch of stuff, but, um, you know, we, we want, uh, you know, we, we want to be able to actually like enjoy the time with our students and, and, and let them, you know, reap some of the rewards of all their hard work and stuff. So this has been an amazing summer. It's your last week. Um, you guys are what going to Lollapalooza this weekend and heading out. (laughs) Um, Yeah. I just bought my ticket today actually. Well, this is fantastic. I know this is like a special episode, but uh, we just wanted to highlight all your hard work this summer. We appreciate it a ton. You've some very big shoes to fill. I'm sure you guys will be helping us through the school year. Most definitely. Um, (laughs) But uh, but we're super appreciative of it. Adam, Sean, you got anything else? Yeah, just Grace Carter again, you know, told you hopefully uh, countless times in person, but want to say on the public forum, just really grateful for all your your effort, your contributions. A foundation you've helped laid for Campus Inc. and the NIL space moving forward. A uh, legacy that will live on for a long time to come. So appreciate you guys. You've been a massive help this summer. Yeah, and, and most, importantly, thank, most importantly, wow. thanks for keeping us young. 
<laughs> yeah, teach all me TikToks, TikTok. Twitter, everything, Instagram, <laughs> all the advice. So thank you. Fashion advice. Uh, yeah. <laughs> thank you guys. You guys are the best. Love it. We got big shoes to fill. All right. This is Steven, Sean, Adam, and Carter and Grace from the NIL show. We will talk to you guys on another episode. Thanks, Take guys. care.